An injection that blocks the activity of a protein involved in aging reverses naturally occurring cartilage loss in the knee joints of old mice, a Stanford Medicine-led study has found. The treatment also prevented the development of arthritis after knee injuries such as ACL tears, often experienced by athletes or recreational exercisers. An oral version of the treatment is already in clinical trials with the goal of treating age-related muscle weakness. Samples of human tissue from knee replacement surgeries in the joint also responded to the treatment by making new, functional cartilage, a result which suggests that in the future, knee and hip replacement may be totally unnecessary. The treatment directly targets the cause of osteoarthritis, a degenerative joint disease that affects one of every five adults in the United States and is estimated to cost about $65 billion in direct healthcare costs each year. Prevention or a replacement is the only strategy society-wide, as no drug can slow down or reverse the disease. This is a new way of regenerating adult tissue, and it has significant clinical promise for treating arthritis due to aging or injury, said Helen Blau, PhD, professor of microbiology and immunology. Millions of people suffer from joint pain and swelling as they age, said Blau's colleague and co-senior author, Nidhi Bhutani, a PhD and associate professor of orthopedic surgery, it is a huge unmet medical need. Until now, there has been no drug that directly treats the cause of cartilage loss. But this gerozyme inhibitor causes a dramatic regeneration of cartilage beyond that reported in response to any other drug or intervention. Similar results were observed in animals with knee injuries like the ACL tears that frequently occur in people participating in sports such as soccer, basketball, and skiing that require sudden pivoting, stopping, or jumping. While the tears can be surgically repaired, about 50% of people develop osteoarthritis in the injured joint within about 15 years. The researchers found that a series of injections twice a week for four weeks of the gerozyme inhibitor after injury dramatically reduced the chance that osteoarthritis develops in the mice. The animals treated with the gerozyme inhibitor also moved more typically and put more weight on the paw of the affected leg than did untreated animals. Phase one clinical trials for muscle weakness have shown that it is safe and active in healthy volunteers, said Blau. Our hope is that a similar trial will be launched soon to test its effect in cartilage regeneration. We are very excited about this potential breakthrough. Imagine regrowing existing cartilage and avoiding joint replacement. If you like more Daily Doses positive news, please subscribe to the channel. Please also like and leave a comment as this really helps the channel grow. Links to the article on this new story can be found in the description of this episode. Thank you for watching.